It's been about four years since I did an update on my 2004 F350, so I'll give you guys a walk around and a little bit of an update. In a few years. Since I had my truck fixed from the last video. I smashed that side up, as you can see. I hit a pole, but oh well. Be a little tour of it if it unlocks. It is unlocked. As you can see, it's been redone. The A pillar is all, or B pillar, sorry, is brand new. That was a lot of money, like 400 bucks. But all in all, for this whole truck, it was about six to seven thousand dollars to fix. And I would definitely not do it again. If I ever look at an SGI salvage or any salvage around the world, buy for parts, get your parts off of it, dump it. It was so not worth it. But yeah, it's dirty. It's a work truck. Didn't even clean that from the last video and it's been since 2014. Or my headliner. I would give you guys a start up, but uh, it's dead. So no point. I haven't drove the truck in a few months. Oh yeah, she's done. No point. No. It's dead. But. Yeah. These are all new doors. Like I said before. Just the paint alone. Was like four grand. And yeah, it's about six to nine thousand dollars. If you ever have a 2004 to 2007. Or even 2010. If you have a van. Six liter. What you need to do is yes, definitely invest in a coolant filter. Save your ass. But yeah, the coolant filter is two on your box. Change it every oil change. It saves all the sediment from the engine block and whatnot from the ride going into the oil cooler plugging it off and it's at the very back of the engine and for a dealership or just even a mechanic shop to do it is two thousand dollars in labor and like 150 dollars in parts so it's pretty expensive to fix these trucks but i just gave you guys here a quick update it's been since 2014 so it is plated it's fully drivable um yeah but Maybe I'll make another video of it running here this spring. It pulls my boat here too, and it takes, you know, garbage here, the garbage dump and whatnot. And I do drive it for a daily driver, but she's been dead for a while. And I've just been driving my car here just because of the fuel wise. So, yeah, it's about a 305,000 kilometers on it. So, yeah, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thumbs up and comment below. I do make a bunch of random videos. So yeah, thank you. Have a good day.